Well, we now come to a part of the program I've been really excited about. And it's, it's the first ever World Federation Global Champion for Youth Award. And all year long, the Federation team, its board members look for individuals who have gone above and beyond in support of kids who need support most. Uh, they're one of us, if you will. And our first honoree uh, has helped young people around the world. Uh, you may know him from being number seven on the Los Angeles Lakers NBA basketball team, or from his 10-time NBA All-Star Game selections, or his three-time Olympic gold medals. He also is a national champion from Syracuse University uh, from back in 2003. Carmelo Anthony is our honoree this year. And let me tell you a little bit about our honoree. First off, he's one of us. He grew up uh, in a really challenging part of Baltimore in the United States. Uh, but from that time forward, he's really focused on how he can make lives better for kids. He started the Carmelo Anthony Foundation. Uh, and through it, he has uh, supported the rebuilding of youth centers in Puerto Rico after the recent hurricane. He's rebuilt basketball and sports courts in some of the toughest parts of America and in South, South Africa. Uh, he is one of us, as I say. It is my distinct honor to introduce our first ever global champion for youth winner, Mr. Carmelo Anthony. Next, we're gonna take a little peek at a short video to introduce him and then we'll hear from Carmelo himself. Thank you very much. Carmelo Anthony was ranked 64th best player according to ESPN's NBA rank. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we all understand the game, right? We, we are students of the game. So there's gonna always be adjustments that you have to make. You always have to adapt to, to certain situations and certain roles. For me, I've, I've always, it never was a basketball thing with me. I, I always believed in myself. I always knew and know what I could do on a basketball court. Where I'm from, basketball is an escape from real life. A close game in the fourth quarter wasn't a stressful situation, but walking home afterwards could be. This book isn't about basketball. It's about growing up in apartment 1C in Red Hook, Brooklyn, and how a community coasts with life and death in West Baltimore. It's also about love, community, education, and the human experience that's delivered me to the place I am today. The Carmelo Anthony Foundation, you cover so many different areas. Did you feel obligated to give back because of the position you're in, or is it something you feel like you would have done anyway? I mean, I, I always try to give back. First, I would like to say thank you to the World Federation of Youth Clubs for honoring me with this inaugural Global Champion of the Youth Award. Though I may be the first one to receive this recognition for the work that my team and I have done, I must acknowledge that we stand on the shoulders of many others who have been investing in the development and well-being of young people across the globe. The work is overwhelming at times, particularly with what we have been through over the last few years, but the rewards of uplifting and preparing the next generation to have a significant, significant impact on our ever-changing world are worth the effort. When I think of my own journey, I reflect on how important the local recreation center in West Baltimore was to my life. It provided a place of safety from the streets, an outlet for self-expression, and a sense of community amongst my peers. When we consider the different challenges faced by today's youth, especially as the world grows more connected through technology, organizations like the World Federation of Youth Clubs, play a very significant role in ensuring that communities and countries with less resources don't get left behind. The vital work you do each day provides young people with the tools, training, and opportunities to lift themselves above their circumstances and compete on a global stage. I am incredibly grateful for this award. 
I'm inspired by your commitment to enhance the lives of our youth and challenge us all to continue to find innovative ways to advance the cause of you. Thank you. It's an honor. It's a blessing. This award will be staying right here on my desk. Once again, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Stay mellow. Peace.